in the Atlantic that we are watching. This one here in red obviously uh, is uh, really the one kind of grabbing our attention as it has the highest likelihood of becoming a tropical depression or storm. National Hurricane Center gives it an 80% chance over the next five days as it continues that west northwest motion. And then also just an area kind of a, a trough of low pressure that uh, could develop here into the northwestern Caribbean as it moves over the Yucatan and into the Gulf of Mexico. More than anything right now, while there's not a high likelihood of it developing into something tropical, it does look like it'll bring some added moisture to the Gulf Coast states heading into the upcoming holiday weekend. Tropical Invest 91L. So that is the uh, the one that will likely become a depression or a storm here as it heads toward the west northwest and gets close to the Bahamas. But forecast models now are starting to suggest it actually takes a turn and maybe moves away from the uh, lower 48 states or the eastern seaboard heading into Labor Day or into early next week. So the models have just started to uh, suggest that trend, so we'll continue to watch it. But this is Friday, and there's the position of it. And then you can see here into the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico, an area of low pressure trying to close off there every now and then. But more than anything, if you just watch some of this moisture kind of spreading inland here into the Gulf Coast states. And so I do think at the start of the holiday weekend for our beach forecast, rain chances will likely be on the higher side. And then maybe Sunday and Monday rain chances coming down a bit more uh, for uh, the Alabama and beaches and the Florida beaches, the Panhandle too. And there you can see the uh, at least this model starting to kind of recurve that to start storm away from the eastern seaboard. So we'll hope that trend continues. All right, close to home. Let's talk about today. Mostly sunny 74 headed to school this morning, hot by lunchtime. So uh, for the uh, the kiddos out at recess, uh, it is uh, it's going to be a toasty one today. Low 90s, not a huge chance for rain right now. Visibility is good. Grandview Medical Center sky cam in the mid 70s. Tomorrow, a front approaches from the north and west, so a better chance for some scattered afternoon storms. That will drop our humidity and our rain chances Wednesday, Thursday. Here comes the humidity and those rain chances back, though, over the holiday weekend. Ian? All right, let's get another check of traffic for you. Starting in Birmingham, where we're pretty much uh, in good shape, at least at Birmingham South, but northwest of the city. I do want to keep an eye on that one issue. This is a multi-car crash for you up on 22 westbound uh, right as you're trying to hop off to get on 78 and you can see uh, a little bit of orange there so there's some delays some backup there westbound here on 22. As far as drive times go Alabaster to Birmingham will take you about 17 minutes or so uh, Coleman to Birmingham 46 minutes and then Chelsea to Birmingham taking you about 19 minutes. All right, let's take a look here. Um, we are just a little bit more than an hour from blast off this morning. You're taking a live look. Uh, this is from the launch pad of the Artemis one. It is the most powerful rocket that we've ever built. Of course, we're getting you ready all morning long. Maddie's up in Huntsville at a watch party, so we'll check in with her a little bit later. All of that happening right here on WVTM 13. 618 right now, and we're also following several national headlines for you this morning. So it's looking like a federal judge will appoint a special master in the Trump records case. The judge told the Justice Department to provide her with more specific information about the classified records removed from former President Donald Trump's Florida home. Trump's attorneys have asked for an independent review of the records that were taken, and a hearing is set for this coming Thursday. And Mississippi is under a state of emergency this morning uh, due to flooding. In Jackson, officials have not implemented a mandatory evacuation order, but the city's mayor is urging anyone who could leave the area to do so immediately. The Pearl River is expected to crest today. The city is estimating that up to 150 homes could be flooded. And in Kentucky, Governor Andy Bashir touting some new state legislation that is targeting the areas that were hit hard by recent flooding. Yeah, we do know at least 39 people were killed in the flooding. Uh, this rift through the eastern part of the state last month it was devastating. There were thousands left without homes, there were businesses destroyed, and schools that were just wiped out altogether. Kentucky's governor says the flood relief legislation would send millions of dollars to areas named in the presidential declaration of a major disaster. And the money would be used for a number of things, so repairing or replacing bridges and roads destroyed by all the flooding. Out to Oregon now, where crews there are dealing with an extremely fast-growing wildfire. This is the Rum Creek Fire. It's burned about 4,000 acres. It's doubled in size, and they do not have this contained. They think the fire, which started uh, the middle of the month, was caused by lightning. And since that time, several families have been forced to leave their homes. 
and an investigation is underway after Buffalo Bills rookie punter Matt Areza was accused of taking part in a gang rape of a teen at San Diego State University. He has now been cut from the teen, that teen filing a civil suit. All right, so if you're a sports fan, a memorabilia fan, want to show you this, a new record for the most expensive sports card ever sold. This uh, 1952 Mickey Mantle card uh, sold for a jaw dropping $12.6 million. So that was double the previous record for a baseball card that was set years ago at $6.6 .6 million. Well, Taylor Swift winning big at the VMAs. After the break, her big announcement she made during her acceptance speech. Welcome back. It is 623 for you on this Monday. Uh, time for some news that we love. And this morning, if you're a Swifty, you follow the Swifties, <laughs> they're going crazy. Yeah, she had a really big night. We're talking about, of course, Taylor Swift. And this is at the MTV Video Music Awards, but that's not the only big news last night. Uh, she accepted the top prize of the night, and that's when she made a surprise announcement that she has a new album dropping that will be released on October 21st. It's her 10th studio album, and it's called Midnight's. All right, so new this morning, uh, we talked about this for the past couple of weeks. The Alabama State Trooper Cruiser has been voted one of the best in the nation. Alabama came in with the seventh spot. It's going to be featured on a calendar, and all the money raised here is going to go to a scholarship foundation. Uh, by the way, I want to show you the winner. Here we go. This was the winning entry. This is from Kentucky. 
And now let's uh, turn to this wild scene out of Madison County. L take a look. <laughs> yeah, that's a goat. A sheriff's deputy was out delivering some civil papers this week when he came back and saw that the goats had taken over his patrol car. Now the sheriff's department says that the hungry goats were just munching on the paperwork inside the car and you can see they're climbing around the vehicle on the roof and everything. They say that everyone though got a really good kick out of that incident. It's pretty good. How do you, how do you get them to leave though? <laughs> you know, just kind of wait, I guess, and, and hope eventually they get distracted. <laughs> hey, uh, there's an old saying about cats uh, that they would rather change owners than move to a new house. Uh, case in point in Olivehurst, California. You can buy these two cats for $285,000 and then the house they live in comes with them. So the home belonged to a cat loving woman. She passed away, donated the home to a local feline center. Uh, Field Haven's the name of it, and they're hoping the new owners adopt the cats who've been living there. So, okay, so you, two so cats you, and the home. You, you have to buy the house to get the cats. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? I, I think that, that's good. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the plan. So yeah. that happened to my sister. She bought a house and she got the cat. There yeah, you go. Cat stayed. Two for one. Yeah. All right. We uh, we've got temperatures this morning that are starting in the 70s. We'll end up in the low 90s later on this afternoon. That heat index will be close to 97. Only about a 20% chance that we see a spotty shower or thunderstorm this afternoon. But with a front approaching on Tuesday, rain chances will come up tomorrow and then they'll drop again as the humidity drops for Wednesday and Thursday. Carla? All right, thanks, Steph. Coming up, college football is back. What you can expect when your favorite teams hit the field.